guys and welcome to Nickrit. Today we're going to go over how to make these really cute tabby slimes from a game called Slime Rancher. They've got these really cute little tails and they've got little tabby characteristics and I just think they're adorable and I love them so much. And I th When I saw them first in the game I thought they would make perfect amigurumi little tiny plush toys. Super easy. It's a fun, quick project. All you need is just some puffy paint, yarn, and some felt, as well as some polyfill. And it's super easy, quick. I made these in about two hours. Also, there will be a link in the description on how to find the game as well. So that will be there down, down, down in the description. Let's get started! For this project, you're going to need less than about a third of a skein of Red Heart Heather yarn, you will also need a glue gun, some felt. I used, on all of them, I used this heather gray felt. On some of them, for the ones with the ones with the mouth, I used this red and pink for the tongue and the mouth. And on the other one, which I used to exemplify their eyes, I used this black and white. You will also need either black puffy paint for the eyes on the ones that you're doing the mouth for, or pink puffy paint for the one where you do the little sideways three mouth. You can also use red, but I have pink, which is why I'm using pink puffy paint. You're also gonna need a size J or six millimeter crochet hook. This is a Susan Bates crochet hook. I really like how these work. You're also going to need a darning needle and a glue gun to adhere your felt on, or you could also use a needle and thread if you really like how that looks as well. But I prefer the laziness of the glue gun. All right, let's get started. For this project, you're gonna need to know how to single crochet, make a magical ring, and to work in the round. Here, we've already begun our circle, and we started by placing six single crochet inside of our magical ring. Then we increased every single one. Next up, we're increasing six single crochet every single row until we get to 42 stitches on our piece here. So we'll increase every other, every third, every fourth, every fifth, and then every sixth on this one right here. So after we've increased every sixth, we're going to single crochet around for 10 rows. And then we'll begin our decrease rounds. And oh, there will be a nice little slot right here at the very end of the video on how to make all of these and a printable pattern for on the go if you wanna do that as well on Ravelry. So we're gonna single crochet around for 10 rounds and then I'll show you how to do decreases, which is basically just the inverse of what we did up here. So now that you've done all of your single crocheting around for those 10 rounds, we're gonna start doing our decreases. And the way that we do that is we're doing the inverse of our increases. So we're going to single crochet five, one, and five, and we're going to skip over the next one and crochet into the next. And then we're gonna single crochet five again and decrease. And we're basically decreasing six stitches every single round until we get to the bottom where we can close up. Around the middle of that, we're gonna have about inch and a half circle open, and that's when I typically stuff, is when it's almost closed, but not closed enough where I can't stuff it. So here we're gonna single crochet five, decrease. The next round we're gonna single crochet four, decrease, single crochet three, decrease, and so on and so forth, until we have closed off the entire ball. And I will see you once I have stuffed. And so now we're gonna work on the tail actually fairly quick and it starts out the same as anything else. We start out by making our magical ring with six single crochets, we increase every other, and then we single crochet around once. Then we're going to start to taper the entire tail. The way that we taper the tail and make it so that it's poofy on the bottom and big on the bottom and it, then it goes into the being a small part right here, is we're going to decrease one at the very beginning of every single row until we've reached the length that we want. That's about eight rounds, eight to nine, depending on what length you want and how your, your gauge is. So for here, I did eight rows here, all the way down from the base here. So what I do is I'm at the beginning of my stitch here, is I'm just gonna go over and skip that very first stitch and go the entire way around until I get back to the beginning again. This is my little stitch marker. I just take the tail end and shove it through wherever my start is. All right, and I just keep going around and around and around for eight rounds. We're decreasing eight stitches, basically. And then we sew it onto the bottom where we want our, our tail to be. So like right on the back here, I sew it right along there, stuff it so that it's definitely poofier on the bottom than it is over here. There's barely any stuffing where the base meets. And next up, I'll show you how to do the 
ears. So next up we're gonna work on making these really cute little ears. It's fairly simple to do. All you need to do is make a magical ring. Instead of placing six in it this time, we're gonna place four. And we're going to single crochet one and then increase the next one and we're gonna do that again. So then we'll end up with six stitches instead of the four that we originally had. So now we have six stitches and now we're going to increase it up to nine by doing the same thing over again. So we're gonna single crochet one and then increase in the next one, single crochet one, increase, single crochet one, increase. So now you've got nine stitches and now we're going to cr single crochet one, single crochet one, and then increase, making us have 12 stitches at the end, at which point then we just single crochet around and then that's how we end. So we're gonna increase up to 12 stitches and then we're gonna single crochet for our single round and then we slip stitch off and we stitch them onto the top here. So it's really easy. This is a really nice, simple emigurumi for basics and now you make two ears and you sew them on and then you sew your tail on and then we'll begin working on our face. Depending on whether or not you want an open mouth face or a just puffied on little upside down three little thing. Whether or not you want the felt face or you want the sideways three. It's all up to you and I'll show you how I do both of those. So first off, we're gonna show you how to make the cute little tabby slime with the eyes, with the sideways three. So first off, you're gonna wanna make the eyes, and the way that I do that is I make a rectangle so that it's about an inch tall and about three-fourths that width. And then I just go around all the corners and make nice smooth edges. Then I take the same width, but I make a perfect circle. It's obviously not perfect, perfect, but as perfect of a circle as I can do. And I'm going to then take hot glue and adhere the eyes right around there, right underneath the ears. Alright, then I'm going to make my felt pieces for the tail and for the sides of the face. So here I make these little rectangles right here. And I make one that's slightly smaller, about three-fourths the size for the tail. And then we just take them and we go make it so that we go to the center right here and then we make it a pointed edge and then we just round up here and then make it even on the other side where it's a nice pointed edge on the side too. And I make four of them per emigurumi. Then I do the same exact thing with the two tail pieces and I make two of them per tail for your piece. So then I'll just glue that right onto the base of the tail right here, so tail, tail piece there. And then on the side of the face, I'll put two of the big ones. So I'm gonna do that for both emigrami, regardless of what face I do. So I've got all my pieces for that there, and all my pieces for this here. And then, if you wanna do the one with the mouth, I take my red felt, I make a square. And then I round off the edges, and then I make it so that it has the same image right there, and I go that way. Then I take the pink felt, I cut around the same shape up till about the halfway point, and then I make a nice rounded off tongue. It doesn't need to be perfect, it's a tongue. Because it's not going to be this perfect little round thing, it's going to be weird looking in his mouth. Then I'm going to glue it so that it's right here. He's going to be super easy as far as the eyes, I'm just going to take the puffy paint and go like this, really easy, make a little crescent shape over on both sides. Super easy, and I'll show you how I do that once I get all of my little felt pieces glued on. See you there. I'm also gonna make two little felt pieces on the ears here. I'm gonna make a little triangle that's about the shape, that's about the size of this right here. I'm gonna make two little triangles that are about the size of this right here, but I'm gonna keep it so that at least a stitch can be seen on either side. So a little triangle, and I'm gonna glue that right on there for all of them. All right. See you with the puffy paint portion. Okay, so now that you've adhered all of your little felt pieces here, we're gonna work on the eyes on your mouth pieced one and the mouth for your eye pieced one, depending on which one you went with. You could also go with making the felt piece for both, but I like one or the other and I think that it's simplicity is a lot better when it comes to these, so I made both versions. So for this amigurumi guy, we're gonna make little lunar shapes on his eyes. We're gonna make little upside down, so going from here and going up and over and going down on both sides. 
And because this is a little difficult to show, let's see if I can actually do this. There we go. And when that dries, I'll go over it a bit more. Puffy paint is not my strongest suit, but I'm trying and I'm getting better over time. Here we go. Nice and smooth. And I will make that little pointy edge, but I can also make it so that it's nice and cut off when I'm all done. When you're working with your puffy paint, make sure that you're starting from the side of the lip and then going upward from there. Don't touch it, it's wet, and I will be drying for a minute now. Let's push you over there. Next up, we're gonna work on our little sideways three mouth done in pink. This is gonna be a good sizable one where we're basically just gonna be going like this, like a three, not going inside the lines of the eyes at all. So it's gonna be inside, not going past this eye, not going past this part of the eye. It's gonna be right there in the center for a three. I don't know how to phrase it other than that. I'll see you when that's all done. And when you're all done with your puffy paint, you're all done and that's all there is to it. All right, if you like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel. It really does help us grow and helps us get more emigurumi out there. If you'd like to see more of these slimes and these like cute little things from Slime Rancher, let us know. We've been thinking about doing a pink and puddle slime tutorial, which would basically be the same thing except different colors. Maybe even a uh, rock slime or a boom slime. That'd be really cute too. Also, be on the lookout for our new Five Nights at Freddy's Amigurumi, which will be coming out with an entire series on how to make Freddy, on how to make Foxy, Bonnie, Chica, Mangle, a bunch of them. Maybe even the cupcake. Alright, until next time, guys!